When you start a business, you have access to hundreds of tax deductions that you don't have access to if you are an employee. Okay? Now, sometimes people get to that and they're like, well, I don't know if that's legal. I don't know if that's right. Are we getting over? So this, this inside thing, this little bug thing that's bugging us that am I doing something illegal? Am I doing something immoral? Am I doing something I'm not supposed to do? That stops people from doing it. Does that make sense? Well, I want to make sure you're not in that boat. So let's deal with it. If you buy a house in America, buying a house, paying payments on a house, you get tax deductions, right? Yeah. You get right off the entry, you get right off property taxes, right? right? So you're getting tax deductions for housing costs. Mm -hmm. If you rent a house, one just like that one that, you're, that somebody is buying, next door you rent it. You might even pay more rent than they pay mortgage. Mm -hmm. Do you get a tax write off? Nope. All right, so you don't get a tax write off. So it's not unusual for our country for the government to say, we want you to do thus, so we're going to give you tax advantages to do thus. We want you to be homeowners, so we're going to give you tax advantages to be one. We want you to go green, so we're going to give you tax advantages to do it. The government does it all the time. So if the government gives you tax advantages for being a business owner, then they must want you to do it. <laughs> So you're not doing something wrong. Everybody got it? And when you get there, not only can you move your finances to another level, you can build a business on it if that's what you choose to do. You see? So it can benefit you, just you, or you can build a business. I just choose to build a business on it, okay? All right. Now, let's talk about six or seven basic deductions, okay? Just like a wealthy politician or a wealthy business owner that's got a jet. <laughs> they can give the money and pay taxes or they can buy a jet. The money's going to go either way. You can buy something for you or you can give it to the government and they'll buy whatever they buy. Your choice, right? So you got a cell phone. Use it for business, it's partially tax deductible. Internet access, your computer, health insurance, we're talking co pays, we're talking deductibles or premiums. Okay? Let's go with home office expenses. So you got a business, you make a profit in your business. Now, if you're renting, you can write off part of your rent or lease each month. Your, your utilities, you just gotta have a, you gotta designate a space in your house or apartment, whatever it is, where you do business. You see, it's a choice. See, some people say, like, well, is the IRS gonna do this? No, the IRS gave you the rules. You make the choice what you wanna do, okay? You have to designate a place that you do business. You know, it could be a desk where you make your phone calls. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay. Now you get to write off part of the expenses for your home. So let's say that you got a 2,000 square foot home or, and you use one 200 and you use 200 square feet for business. So now 10% of all of those expenses for your home are tax deductible. 